is a truck that has a habit of chasing planes. In fact, it's a business. All aboard Fort Cozumel, Tapachula, Guatemala, Tegucigalpa, Antifaga, or come on and get in. With a clipper ship in between, it's just two steps from the United States to any country south of the border. This truck sure is traveling and so are its occupants, if it gets there in time. Six minutes to go, then off to South America. Step on a driver, that airport is still a mile away. Uh-oh, and this plane waits for nobody. Right in the nick of time. These passengers just won't get ready until the last minute, and there's nothing that can be done about it. In traveling togs before they know what it's all about, loaded into a speedy truck and rushed to the airport, across the gangplank and into the rumble seat. A lot of fuss over a bunch of small fry, but not a peep out of them. What a passenger list. Over 800 this trip. Takeoff time for the Caribbean West Coast Flyer. Motors roar and the clipper ship express trains down the choppy water of the bay. A sweep up into the air and its nose points south, flying down to Rio at a lot of miles per hour. Next plane leaves in 45 minutes, so back again for another load. Thousands pass through this unusual air terminal daily. Jeepers, cheapers, over 10,000 of these animated powder puffs are rushed to Central and South American markets every week. All because the American chicken is a better egg producer, is better tasting. Come on out, fella, and have a look around. Try grunting, that helps sometimes. Stand up, you sissy. Right after hatching, one of these little fuzzers weighs only half as much as an egg, so rides for half fare. He doesn't begin to get hungry until he's 72 hours old, so he's as snug as the bug in the rug was during the entire trip in specially designed flying pullmans, and arrives long before he has a chance to work up his first appetite. American chicks bring home South American checks. This is one time when a dozen chickens are cheaper than a dozen eggs. Happy landings, you birds.